Now I love watching bike races on TV, but there is simply nothing like taking in the thrill of the action by the side of a road. So I decided to show Ollie and you how to watch a bike race like a pro. I mean, I've, I've watched a bike race before, Connor. No, no Ollie. You haven't watched a bike race like a pro. We've come to Omloop Het Nieuwsblad, the first Belgian classic of the year and a proper Proper bike race. Yeah, I actually raced it myself and it's just a mental experience to be part of. Fans, the course, the atmosphere. Fritz and beer. Don't forget the Fritz and the beer, definitely. And waffles, waffles as well. Oh yeah, don't forget waffles, I like waffles too. Omloop starts in Ghent and winds its way 199 kilometers around some iconic roads and cobbled sections ending in Ninove. We're going to try and watch the race from these five spots, some of the most exciting points along the route. Well, uh, when are we heading off to the start then, mate? OK, right, that's the thing. We're going to have to miss the start as part of the plan. But it's the start. I know, I know, I know, I know, but we're going to have to miss it, basically because the start is so far away. If we go to the start, we're going to miss probably two or three cobbled sections. So it's a trade-off. If we go to the start, we miss the action. And in my opinion, we're here for the action, we're here to see the cobbles, the drama unfold in real life and otherwise we'll be stuck in, you know, riding for ages and ages and we'll miss it all. Okay, well I reckon just to spice it up a bit as well, we should have a bit of a wager. I always like a wager. Yeah, okay, go on then. What's, right. what's the forfeit? We, what's we, the forfeit? The forfeit is you have to pack up my bike or I have to pack up your bike. <sighs> okay, okay. Okay, right, but right. what we'll do, we each pick a rider and whoever, whoever's rider finishes highest in the standings okay. wins. I'm going for Ben Swift. I think he's. I think he's got it today. I'm going to go for Oliver Nason because he's got the best name, best first name. And we're friends. <laughs> Cycling friends. I went riding with him in Calpay. Oh Oliver! I'm going to cheer you on in the race. <laughs> yeah. Right. Let's go. Come on then. Right, we've got our bikes ready, we've got a kit on. We're about to leave the warmth of the car and head out. But quick disclaimer, we are going to be self-shooting some of this ourselves. So if it's not quite up to the usual standard you expect, sorry, um, blame us. Yeah, we're roving reports in the field, Ollie, today. I guess we better get going. 16K to the first section, you know, we need to get a push on. You've been dilly-dallying and eating waffles and things, so. All right, let's go then. Quick, let's go. <laughs> we set off battling the wind on the 16 kilometer ride to the first spot. We've just made it to the first sector where we're trying to catch the race <laughs> by the skin of our teeth. We're actually hammering it, we're riding along there. So first sector we made it to is the Harcook. It's about two and a half kilometers of cobbles. Immediately followed is the Lieberg. Quite a key point in the race, we're going over this three times. So it's good to be here. The crowds are really piling up now and everyone's waiting for the race to arrive. I'll tell you what, you weren't wrong about the weather. It's proper windy. There's a bit of rain getting on the lens, so I have to wipe that butt. <laughs> 45 mile an hour winds today. Oh my God. I brought a flag for, for Oliver to like cheer him on. So this is the peloton just passing now. It's like trek on the front. Fans are going. One, three. Come on, Ryan. Oh, they look like they're suffering. Oh, they look very cold though. Very, very cold. Can we stay in there? It's nice and warm. They've got a fire and everything. With no time to spare, we headed off to the next sector. So we've made it to the ne next sector, and as you can see, the weather hasn't improved. I think there's a quite a lot of camera shake going on as well, and that's my hand it's absolutely cold. shivering. It's so cold. Yeah. This cobbled sector is called the hollow egg, just after the feed zone, so I'm hoping one of the riders Chuck to be his head to us because I'm getting quite hungry. <laughs> oh, the sun's poking its head out. 
and Ollie's getting a bit more optimistic that he's not going to be freezing for the rest of the day. <laughs> the race is getting close because cars are coming through now and I can see the helicopter just on the horizon coming over, so not long now before the brake gets here. Here they come now. The brake's been caught. Go, 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 go! There weren't many smiles in that bunch. They didn't look like they were having a good time. It's like the stuff now, aren't they? <laughs> Time and the weather were not on our side. We decided to cut our losses and head straight to the iconic Muir. So one of the things about cycling is you can do the climbs just before the race comes. And I think this is great. You just soak up the atmosphere and kind of pretend you're in the race. And try and get some cheers from the fans. You ready, Ellie? Yeah. We arrived at the Muir just in time to watch the final moments of the women's race, which we thought we wouldn't be able to see. That's the great thing about coming to see a live bike race. You often get the chance to watch too. One of the awesome things about today and just coming to bike races in general is you appreciate the roads and the terrain in a way that you can just never do that on TV. Yeah, I think that's the beauty of cycling really, that you can just go out there on your bike and do exactly what the pros are doing in yeah. the races. It's just open to you and no one's stopping you from doing oh, it. It's good. Right, not long now till they come through. Looking forward to it actually, yeah, yeah it's going to be big. The atmosphere is building now, so I think we should get involved in the crowds, find our place. So I'd say one of my top tips when you're waiting for the race to arrive is to find a nice place that you can watch. Don't be rushing around just before the race gets there. Take some time, get a good spot. Oh, this fur is perfect for me. Nice vantage point. Comfy, comfy bit of grass. All of the nation's not in the front group, is he? So we're told the race is at the bottom of the Mer. Anticipation is building. We hear the helicopters coming. Are they, are they at the bottom now? Yeah, they're at the bottom. Yeah, they're on the climb. They're coming. Oh, they didn't know. I didn't even know. Oh, they're coming. Yeah, you can hear them. You hear the noise. You hear the noise. Should we get some uh, fritz and waffles now? Oh yeah, definitely, I'm starving. Let's watch the finish as well. Quick, <laughs> see if Ronnie can get on the verge first. <laughs> you can do it, Ollie. Ah, yeah. From the Muir, we were never gonna make it to the finish, so we decided to head to the local pub, soak up the atmosphere, and catch the final few kilometers. Lumpard boxed in there. Unable to get around, Sturven. Shake of the head. Jasper Sturven winning for an eighth time in his career, and he has started 2020 with a bank. It was a super exciting race, and although the weather was against us, we had an awesome day. Hey, I'll tell you what, what about our wager then? How did. Uh, oh, yeah, that's a point. Did that's a point. And um, so I'm just looking here now, actually. Oh, Ben Swift, 38. Solid, solid result, though. Quite good, that. You know what? Good, you you know what? I think he's done. I'm not seeing an ace in here. Like, he's scrolling in the top ten. Seven. Ah. Oh. <laughs> oh no. I knew he'd come through for me. My boy, Oliver. Cheers. Finally, we headed off for some well-deserved frees. Oh, lovely. This is what I love about Belgium racing. Anytime there's a big race on in town. They have what's called a kermesse. Ollie, Ollie wasn't sure what this was, so I'm going to explain. It's just a fair, really, and they just have a massive party. Race finishes and the party goes on, everyone has a great time, the community comes together. I love it in Belgium when they do this. Now, today, we didn't get to as many of the sectors as we originally planned, but there's, there's an important message in that. Whenever you come and watch a bike race, 
always have a contingency plan and be prepared to change your plans because things like the weather are uncontrollable. And today the weather was pretty grim. I mean, it's not quite nice now, but it was pretty grim at times, as I'm sure you saw. But we still had an awesome time. You know, we just changed up the plans and went on the mur for more of the time. Oh yeah, definitely. And I think you don't want to get too stressed by trying to see too many sectors and getting caught up in that too much. You just want to enjoy the moment, enjoy the race and have a great time. That's what it's all about, and really. Fritz. Yeah, and Fritz, definitely Fritz. With mayo, not Andalus. And we hope that it's inspired you to come and watch a, a race for yourselves because there really is nothing like it. Oh, it's just the best thing ever. It's such an experience. Really just get out there and give it a go. Oh. Well, anyway, we better go now. You've got to pack my bike as well. Oh. Come on. Oh, no. I forgot about that. Oh, flipping heck. I drew the short straw here. I thought I had it as well. Ollie, could you not have washed this? Come, I mean, come on. I know, I know it's a forfeit, like, but it's absolutely filthy. <laughs> 